although we may not always see Hashem, Hashem is always watching over us. Although we not we may not always feel his presence, he is always present. In a world with many different religions and a widespread lack of belief in God, there is but one truth, one reality, and one God. Although not everyone believes in this one faith, the God of this faith is the God of all people. And we in this generation have a special job. We're tasked these messengers to be the infinite one's servants and reveal his presence down on earth. For hundreds, for countless generations, our ancestors have fought to keep the tradition alive, to keep the Torah alive. And now we're on the footsteps of the Mashiach. The challenges now are even greater than ever. There are reasons once said that in ways he is greater than certain Tanaim. I may be misquoting him, but what his reason for saying this was, he explained that the challenges that we face when I, he said, when I do a mitzvah now, that we face such obstacles, even the Tanaim, even some of the greatest Judaic masters of all history, weren't facing, that because we face such incredibly difficult obstacles, even to perform the smallest amount of mitzvahs, that makes each and every mitzvah we do that much greater. By the way, I'm, I'm probably misquoting that story with that result, don't hold me on that. But I think the point stands that whenever the challenges increase. Not only do the expectations decrease, but the potential increases and the reward for each little victory multiplies. Although we may not be able to reach as high as our ancestors have reached, we're able to dig deeper than they've dug before because of the challenges we face. In Tractate Pesachim, in the Talmud, there's a reason given for why we're not supposed to check for chametz during the day. You say, because we need to check for chametz with the light of a candle, and the light of a candle isn't what it is. It isn't as strong during the day than it is at night because the rest of the light drowns it out. The darkness amplifies the light, my friends. We are like the players in a basketball game in the final quarter. The score is tied, 110 to 110. It's 10 seconds left on the clock and we are the players on the court right now. All the points, all the scoring that our ancestors did to get us up to this point. Don't let it be in vain. Make their sacrifices worth it and build a generation for the future generations. Build a future for the generations to come. The more that we learn Torah and the harder we push ourselves, the stronger we get and the wiser we become. The more we study God's wisdom, divine knowledge, the more we get imbued with divinity and infinity. We have eternity at our fingertips. Don't let it slip away. Validate the sacrifices of the generations that came before us and build a future for the generations that will come after us. Let's bring Mashiach now in our days because every mitzvah we do, simply because we face such a difficult challenge to even do the smallest mitzvah, the positive impacts of that little mitzvah are amplified to a scale beyond our wildest comprehensions. Indeed, 
one little mitzvah, one extra moment of Torah study can tip the skills of the world in a favor of peace, and goodness, and Messiah. I hope you all have a great, great day. If you enjoyed this video, share this with a friend, drop a thumbs up, and hit that subscribe button for more. Peace out.